Hello everyone! This video would focus on segment addition postulate. To better understand this postulate, let's look at this picture right here. Looking at this picture right here, this line has been chopped off into different line segments. So the first segment is AB, so that's the first um, segment right here. We also have a segment BC, and we also have a segment AC. Now the segment addition postulate states that if we add these two segments right here, AB, if we add the segment BC, that gives the whole thing AC. So that we can go ahead and write the formula for this. This formula makes sense because if we add the first segment plus the second segment is actually equal to the whole thing which is AC. In words, we can write the segment addition postulate. So this is the statement for segment addition postulate. Now let's move on to some examples. So in this example, we're supposed to find line segment PR. So from P all the way to R. So we need to determine how long is that. So we are going to write the segment addition postulate from here. So we, we again, um, in this case right here, we don't have A, B, and C, but the very um, important thing that we need to remember on the um, segment addition postulate is that if we add the first and the second segments there it's actually equal to the whole thing so then we can go ahead and write the formula here that would be line segment pq plus line segment qr that is actually equal to the whole thing that is line segment pr so we plug the values in so first we have our pq is four plus our QR is 3, and we're looking for PR. So then we go ahead and say that PR or the line segment PR is actually 7. And that makes sense because if we add 4 and 3, that's actually 7. Now let's move on to the next example. In this example, we're supposed to find segment TL. So TL is this missing piece right here. Again, we are supposed to write the formula first. So that would be first segment plus the second segment is equal to the whole thing. So that would be TL plus um, that would be LG is equal to TG. Again, these are all line segments. So we plug the values in. So TL is missing. So we can keep that as variable TL. So that's line segment TL plus our LG is 32. And that is equal to TG, which is 75. So then we go ahead and solve for TL. From here, we can go ahead and subtract 32 from both sides because we want the TL by itself in there. So minus 32 minus 32. So then we are left with, we can cross this out. TL is actually equal to um, 75 minus 32 is 43. So this is the length from point T all the way to point L. And that makes sense because if we add 43 plus 32 is 75. Now let's move on to the next example. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So we're supposed to solve for X and we determine the lengths of segment yw so that's yw right here which is 4x plus 50 and wk which is 6 minus 2x and we also have yk which is 5x plus 65 again we are supposed to write the um, formula that would work for this we remember that it's always going to be the first segment plus the second segment is equal to the whole thing so we can go ahead and write this as um, yw plus WK is equal to YK. Again, these are all line segments. So after that, we plug the values in. So our YW is 4X plus 50. So this is 4X plus 50, plus our WK is 6 minus 2X. And that is equal to YK, which is 5X plus 65. So that's 5X plus 65. Now we are going to combine like terms. So the like terms that we have here would be 4x and then that's minus 2x. So 4x minus 2x is 
2x, and then we combine the constants. So the constants that we have here would be 50 plus 6 is 56. So that's 2x plus 56 equals 5x plus 65. Again, we're supposed to solve for x. So in this case right here, we can go ahead and subtract 2x from both sides. So minus, um, so this is, by the way, uh, 5x. So that's 5x right there. So that would be a minus 2x from both sides so that we are left with, we can cross this out, 56 equals 3x plus 65. We want the x by itself, so we can go ahead and subtract 65 from both sides, minus 65, so we are left with, we can cross this out, that's um, 56 minus 65 is negative 9 is equal to, um, that's going to be 3x. We want the x by itself, so we can divide both sides by 3. We divide this by 3, so we are left with, uh, we can cross this out, so our x is negative 3, because you have negative 9 divided by 3 is negative 3. So this is our value for x. So we already have solved for x. Now we are supposed to solve for segment YW, WK, and YK. So I'm going to show you how to uh, determine the value for YW. So looking at the equation right here, our YW or segment YW is actually 4X plus 50. So what we do in order that we can um, determine the value for these line segments is to plug the values in. So that would be 4 parentheses plus 50. Again, our x was negative 3, so I plug it in there. So that would be 4, um, four times negative 3 is negative 12 plus 50 is 38. So our YW or line segment YW is 38. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try to solve for segment WK and YK. And if you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So we start with WK. So WK is equal to this number right here. So that would be 6 minus 2X. So then we plug the values in. So this is how it's going to look like. So WK is equal to 12. Now let's solve for YK. Okay, so the length of WK is 12 and the length of YK is 50. Did you get the same answers as this? Good, perfect. Now let's see if these numbers make sense. So our YW is 38. So this one right here is 38. So I'm just going to write that uh, right there. So YW is 38. Our WK is 12. So this length right here is 12. So if we add 38 plus 12, that is actually equal to 50. So this numbers here make sense. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.